Are we done here with the idle chit chat, gentlemen? <laughs> they talking to us. <laughs> it's, uh, 702. 702 means we already should have started the meeting. Good evening, everybody. We have uh, how many are online? He's 20. 19. Anyhow, if you get a camera shot of the room here, we got about uh, just a rough count, about 15, 18 people here. So we got a pretty good attendance. Beautiful day outside, at least where we are. Um, I want to start off by uh, recognizing, I don't know, I think only two of them are here, but we have four new members uh, that joined since uh, some were here for the last meeting, but they weren't announced because they just showed up for the meeting. But we have uh, Holly Ann Nikem and David Nixdorf. They are a couple from Lancaster. And since I don't see a woman here, I'm pretty sure David is in here either. Um, we have uh, Andre Pawlowski, right down center here. He's from Ephrata. We have Jack Hawkins right here. He's from Gordonville. Did I get that right? Okay. Right. And I feel I'm missing somebody, but I can't think of who. If I'm missing somebody on there here, raise your hand. Uh, okay, first item would be the tool committee. You're not here? No, I'm missing. <laughs> You're missing. Yeah. But I am here. Okay. All right. Tool committee report. Matt Kilaresti here has a, they had their last, they had their meeting last month. So after uh, last month's shop time, we came up with sort of a plan and a list of things we could possibly use. I'm not going to go over the whole list now, but it's basically like make sure each station has a chuck, drive centers, cone centers, um, tool rests, lights, that sort of thing going down for each, um, each station so that each lathe is sort of its own functional unit. Um, we also put together a list of basic tools for the shop we think we could use, like a, a standard workbench and advice, something like that. Um, a possibly a second grinder set up um, for CBN wheels, another slow, um, uh, slow speed grinder with a Wolverine jig or something similar. Um, so the, the next plan is to cross check our inventory with what we have versus what we think each station should need. That way we don't end up with, you know, seven extra spur drives when we don't need them um, and then tally up a final list to shop for for approval and then ask for specific donations from anybody so that's the basic gist of what we have um, ron has found um, another slow speed grinder and wolverine jig for i think 125 for each uh, through the susquehanna club so we might look to purchase that for our club any questions Yes, Doug. When a purchase like that comes up, how does it get approved? That is a question for the executive committee. I don't know. We will pass the suggestions on. Uh, well, John, uh, we talked before about uh, uh, it only become an issue, I think, if something that is not on all of our minds as being essential and if it's going to be running into thousands of dollars. I think since uh, the opening levels, since we have an opportunity for a low speed grinder and the Wolverine jig at 125 a pop, uh, we could probably get some uh, donations if the, we can't approve it. But I, that's pretty near a new price. I mean, why would we buy it? Oh, no, no, slow speed grinder is going to be 270, okay. and the Wolverine jig is about 175. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I forget what the and the grinder's right. never been used. Depends on how complete the Wolverine jig is. Yeah, it's grinder. complete with it's also with the with the piece. So it's the whole that, that's what I read from the email. Yeah. So if it has if it has the very jig, it does. Oh, you're familiar very, with yes. I, I was familiar with the there was an email chain. Okay. So yes, it has it has the very grind 
attachment and the whole Wolverine setup. So, which is maybe even now over 200, I think. But right. Yeah. It's a good deal. It's a, no, it's a very good deal. And I know that because if you guys didn't approve it, I was going to buy it. So. <laughs> <laughs> So we could call. And I think from last month's demo, you learned that I'm a very, very cheap person. <laughs> <laughs> well, by our bylaws, if it's over 200 bucks, it needs a vote. So we either do it as two separate buys, and then we don't need a vote, or it's one buy, and we should vote on it now. Can, can I make a motion that we approve it? <laughs> I'll second that motion. Okay. Or a motion. Everybody in favor of buying the Wolverine jig and the low speed grinder for 250 total. All right. All right. Uh, we count the online folks because they get a I want to want to inform Ron and get, get it rolling. I don't know. That's all Thank you, everyone. Good job, Matt. Good job. And Matt, when do you when do you guys plan on getting together again? Uh, we haven't decided yet. Okay. Uh, wig stand. Get busy. Uh, there's a world of varieties of domestic wood. Find some. It's easy to get stuff that normally you reject for wood turning because you say, I can't make a bowl. It's only that thick. If it's only that big, we may even have pieces here that you can get. Uh, make a wig stand. I talked to uh, Groff and Groff Lumber uh, mid last week. And they said when they get about, did they have like any cutoffs or whatever that we could have free uh, of any of any given domestic variety, well, any variety period. Um, and they said they have a, uh, what they refer to as their $5 box. Anybody here familiar with Gruff and Gruff's $5 yeah, box? They, used to have they have a $1 box. box. Yeah, they used to they have a $5 box. The things in the $1 box are worth about five cents. <laughs> the five dollar box would be okay, but the best thing they have is their cutoff bin, which they will sell you. I don't know what they would do for us. But well, they said they would they would donate from the five dollar box, so but uh, I'm going to be going down there myself to buy some box. wood, and I'll see what we can get for yeah. uh, a discount. And ask them about the cutoff box because it's almost a yard. It's three, but it's four by four by two and a half feet tall. And I've gone in there before and said, that stuff's interesting because I'll do spindles and whatnot. And they just go, here, 75 bucks, you can have it. And I'll be like, great, pile it all in my car. Oh, okay. It's close to a cubic yard. Maybe four by four by two. I have somewhere in there. Maybe, maybe, I don't know, whatever. Close enough, Michael. You and your mathematical brain. Back there, calculate. The big chunk of wood. Yeah. 27. Uh, right? Barry, um, the. Uh, Right. Worldwide Wood Turners also makes um, uh, wick stands, and one of the things that they do is we're coming up on building season, and a couple of the members there, they go out to construction sites where they're building houses, and they actually ask if they can take the cutoffs. You know, they'll put up a joist and they'll cut the ends off, and they've got two foot pieces. They have to pay to get rid of it. And so what they do is they say, can we, can we cake some? And uh, some of the places will actually bring it out to you because uh, of insurance reasons, they don't want you on the site. Uh, but that's a, a, it's mostly one by, uh, mostly two by material, but you know, you can get pieces of two by eight, two by 10. It's good wood, mostly. I have a I have a personal bias against softwood, but uh, yeah, but that's just Barry, me. Barry, what's your due date on that? There is no actual due. Last year we had a uh, like a handoff date. We don't have a handoff date this year, but uh, I would like to just uh, develop for the foreseeable future that it's an ongoing thing throughout the year, and whenever we amass. You know, more than uh, four or five here, we can go without any ceremony, just uh, deliver them to the cancer center. Uh, and so that 
I don't know which one of you asked the question, but we don't really have a, a deadline date. They aren't expecting anything. Do you want us to bring them here, Barry, or do you want to bring them, drop them off at your place? I'm sorry? Bring, bring them here or drop them off at your place? Uh, you know yeah, if you're from down, if you're down in the Lancaster area, uh, I'll be happy for you to drop them off at my place. Which you can find my app. You can find my place on the, the the listing. Which reminds me, Tom, it's about time to mail out the member list to the members again. There have been a number of additions and some drops. Some of us function a whole lot better if we have a deadline that's supposed to have things <laughs> next week. <That's> <laughs> <laughs> well, it's too late to say tonight, but uh, okay, we'll. Uh, at our next executive session in three weeks, we'll talk about that. <laughs> but it would probably be in the fall. For the week stands? For the week stands, right. And bead boxes, I, uh, a local cancer hospital doesn't get involved in pediatric cancer, but the Hershey uh, Medical Center does. And so I'm waiting to hear a response that they make back to the guy who is a member, club member here and the director of the Lancaster uh, Ann Barshinger Center going to uh, put me in contact with her. Yeah, I, just as another idea for the Cancer Center, um, I was a part of a writer's group having this, you know, this cancer survivor. I made a bunch of pens using wood, uh, maple burl or burl wood. And donated them to the people around that area because Burl says, you know, it's like a cancer. And so that's that's a, a lot of the cancer, all the other patients that were there just found that really, really helpful. Even though they weren't losing their hair or anything like that, they just something beautiful about a cancer was a really sweet um, gift. So it's something else if somebody wants to do something other than a, a, a wig stand that might be appreciated down at the at Barsham. Okay. The only the only gap there would be in the communication area because the person that we we deal with is with the uh, image recovery center of the hospital and uh, or the cancer center and that yeah. is all about uh, mainly women but men too feeling like they're all self more again with having hair and what have you. I understand that it's just that that, that was a, a another idea for people if they wanted to do something different is all I'm suggesting. Yeah, I wouldn't know how to hand them off, but we could figure that out. I can tell you how to hand them off. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Doc. Uh, open shop will be this Saturday. Angelo. Yeah, if anybody's interested in uh, making pens, as Doug suggests, that I have plenty of girl pen blanks. So if anybody wants that, they can have that. Okay, and Randy, you buy them by the thousand, don't you? Not quite. <laughs> well, you, you, you've probably heard the uh, brief discussion here on uh, making pens to give to the cancers, I guess, for the adult cancer survivors. And we just have to figure out how to, uh, how to get them to them. Um, they open shop this Saturday, nine to noon. Um, uh, time for show and tell. We have a lot. You want a treasurer's report? Oh, yeah, I didn't put it on my list here, so I missed it. It won't take a minute, but I do want to help. Well, I discovered last month that I can annotate everything in the bank account with what kind of it is. It is so I'm doing that. So there's no more paper register, but it's all available in the bank account, and I can sh anybody can get at it. Uh, so we started the month with five thousand three hundred and fifty-four dollars and thirty-nine cents. Uh, we took in one hundred and five dollars in dues. That's two single memberships and one family membership. We sold forty-nine dollars worth of wood. For $154 in income, and then we had a $359.69.64 expense, which was the cost of uh, GoDaddy for the last year, or maybe more than a year, uh, hosting fees for the club website where all of our stuff appears. Um, so we ended the month, we end with right today, we have $5,148.75 in the bank, 
And there are two outstanding checks, one for $28.19 for a cable that Peter bought and one for $40 for coffee that uh, Ben brought in. And we've now started a cup to get a dollar for coffee, along with if you take wood, you got to leave some money. So with uh, when those two checks clear, the club will have $5,080.56. Minus two fifty for the low speed grinder and the very good. I see no check on that yet. We'll come to that. That'll show up next month. There you go. Thank you, John.